Hey guys, this is Face Action Via here, coming at you with another Sonic Tuesday video. And today we're doing something different. This is actually going to be my first ever game review on this channel. And today we're going to be reviewing Sonic Speed Simulator on a platform I never thought I would ever start playing games on, which is, uh, <laughs> what's it called again? Which is Robux. Yeah. So, this game is, from what they told me, it's similar to a game called Click Game. Kind of, in a sense, yeah. yeah, with the rebirth mechanic. Yeah, because the rebirth mechanic allows you to level up, and when you reach the max level cap, you are able to get better rewards. So, like, obviously right now, I'm getting a lot more rings because, you know, I, you know, rebirth. Like, think of it like a gotcha game, right? I guess that can be a good... You do it, the better the stuff gets. Yeah, and... You know, the whole point of this game is for you to get Sonic or Tails or Knuckles or Rider Sonic because there's two different Sonics in this game to their most maximum speed. And to get Rider Sonic, you enter a code on yeah. the thingy. Yeah, you just as, put riders. as Riders. Yeah, that's all you do. Um, this game is pretty basic in its design, but it is insanely addicting. Uh, you can also acquire Chow from the shop. I will show she them. has three right now. Which I will show that off. Um, they will do like a legendary chow of the day. Let me come over here. Right over here. I'm actually trying to get enough to get this chow. And there's something over here I need to check out here. Um, I think this is a. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is the chow shop and all that. And then there's one over here that I've been doing. Now, unfortunately, you can't just pick the item to get it. You actually have to, like, legit, and I'll, and I'll show it off here. You have to click get RNG. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's basically gotcha, and I got a black electro trail, which I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of sick. That looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. I already have that. No, I don't. You know what? Let's, let's try this out. Where are you at? You're over here. And Hello! Hello. <laughs> so, currently, I'm playing with uh, the, the Fox of Blue. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> We're both using Rider Sonic. Yeah. Um, part of the reason why I never got into this whole culture of weird gaming is because the generic gaming models always look kind of like cheap. To they me. look, they look weird. And not trying to sound like a typical guy my age or try to pull the whole generation card, but I've always felt like these games were never made for my generation, although I believe this has always been around, I think. I don't know how long Roblox has been around. Um, so my experience with this whole platform is only because of this game, and I don't ever plan on ever um, jumping into any other game if it's not Sonic related. So... For now, this is as deep as I'm going. Obviously, I got a chest, which I got some more rings, which is great. Nice. So, yeah, um, there are different worlds. Uh, you can also join races, which I'll show that off right now. Like, you probably join in on that that way. <laughs> and there's a guy named Real Ed Sheeran. I don't know, I don't know if that's the actual Ed Sheeran or not, but if it is, uh, dude. Dude, bruh, I'm not a fan of your music, but it's an honor to be kicking your butt in this race, sir. Kicking mine in the process. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I am level 76, so... And I haven't played I'm this a, game I'm level already. 31 at the moment, so... Um, I still need to unlock Tails, Knuckles, and regular Sonic. Uh, yeah, you have to go to the different zone lobbies for that, and then get into the actual zone yeah. to find them, to unlock them. Yeah, so I need to uh, do research on that for sure. But, um... But this game reminds me of two with these crystals. They do... It reminds me of Sonic Runners. It's like a 3D version of Sonic Runners. It's just that you are able to control Sonic. Um, speaking of controlling Sonic, this has a very adventure-esque feel to it. 
Because there's no boost. It really does. There's um, no boost. So I don't know, like, if that's maybe what they're going to go for for Sonic Frontiers. Because I've been seeing some conspiracy theories about this game. I thought that some people think that this is actually a test for Sonic Frontiers. And that's why Sega sponsored it. Um, so maybe, like, so maybe this is what we can expect, kind of, in Sonic Frontiers. Like, I'm not going to sit here, you know... All I'm doing right now is just putting on my tinfoil hat. Pretty much. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all we're doing right now. Um. But I'm hoping they add Shadow. I would love if they added the Seven Chaos Arms. That would be amazing. Um. Of course, they may never do this, but I would love to see Hypersonic. That'd be that. that. Oh. Be cool. Yeah, because in my opinion, they can still put a hypersonic in games and make it safe for others. You know? <laughs> what? I'm in Lost Valley! Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? That's a good segue, dude. Let's go to a new zone, shall we? You can go into a new zone. Any lobby you find. I, I just randomly found the Lost Valley one. Well, I'm going into <laughs> Like I said, you know, this is pretty much a, like, this isn't the same case of, like, Sonic Mania 2 where, like, Sega helped out with this. This is them sponsoring this. So, yeah. more or less, you can pretty much say, like, you know, this game is pretty much a unofficial, official Sonic game, more or less. And we are in Lost Valley. This is pretty much the... But a lot of people thought Sonic was saying a pun, you know, Sand Hill, you know, Green Hill is uh, looking a lot like Sand Hill, which, which and it wasn't a pun. I, I call that out, like, in my Let's Play of Sonic oh, Adventure. Yeah. Sonic, which, uh, definitely go check that out. And I I wouldn't mind doing a Let's Play of uh, Sonic, Sonic Forces eventually, too. Um, who knows, am I might actually bring back to be live for my characters. Oh, dude, you can get a shiny, uh, black chow here, I think. Really? Yeah, it's called a jewel black chow, and you can get a jewel silver chow, too, here. Where is it? But it cut, uh, at the beginning when you first come in. Oh. Does it cost a lot, I'm gonna assume? 4,000 rings. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Did you get a chow already? I got a jewel silver chow first try. Might as well equip it. It gives you more ring bonus and XP bonus. Okay, I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna do one more pull. You can get the other chow from that. I'm gonna be uh, sad. <laughs> You're probably gonna end up leaving the damn game. No, I'm just gonna be sad. Sad box of blue well, uh, it was nice playing with you, babe. Did you get the other challenge? <laughs> yep. Oh, damn. I haven't got a single challenge. I've, I, I have been doing pulls on this stuff. here and uh these uh chests are actually from sonic forces speed oh, battle. For speed battle yeah uh there are actual i think part of the reason why they sponsor this is because there's there's actual game like like actual spot like advertisements from sega in here so i wouldn't be surprised when like sonic origins come out there's actually like a billboard with it on it which by the way um in case anyone's wondering my opinion on the whole controversy you guys can watch the podcast, but more or less, I kind of see it the same way like I did with the Pokemon controversy. And what is the Pokemon controversy at the morning? Well, ooh, okay, sweet. I was able to show off the, the grind rails there. That was cool. Not. Um, is that it's not going to matter? Um, 
about the controversy because it's probably still gonna sell really well, especially if it's good. And if it turns out to be good, it's gonna make people that are angry be like, well, crap, I better put my foot in my mouth. You know, that whole typical metaphor sort of thing. You know, I'm not saying that people can't feel a certain way. You can keep talking, I'll be right back. Okay. Um. What? You know, but I don't, like, that's the one thing that, because, because with the Sonic, With the Sonic, um... With the Sonic community, though, right? Like, in a lot of ways, I feel like the reason why they... There is so much controversy, you know, in the Sonic fandom is because... I think it is because we're so used to maybe getting, you know, bad stuff that we're just pessimistic. And I think we need to cut out being pessimistic. Like, like... It's okay to maybe want to wait and see about a product. Like, that's totally fine. Like, I'm not saying that people can't do it. At the end of the day, it's your guys' money. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, you can do what you want. And I'm sorry about the noise you guys are hearing in the background. You guys are. No, I'm sorry. That's my bad. Um, actually, it's more my bad because I have the washer going. No. Oh. But. I didn't know. It is one of those things to me to where it's like the whole controversy should not overshadow this whole thing. Like, okay, well, okay, well, the whole DLC thing. You know what? You know, I've been seeing a lot of excuses about how this being the same, you know, Fast Sonic games that we've gotten. And I'm sorry, but that whole action needs to end. Because these are not just yeah, any no version of these games. These are the Christian Whitehead, you know, ports of Sonic 1 CD and Sonic 2. This is also a new version of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Now, keep in mind, everybody's going to be saying, well, you know, why should I buy this when I can just play the ROMs? Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, but... Like, in my opinion, and I... <laughs> um, you know, like, like if you can't afford Sonic Origins, then you know what? The freaking ROMs, like the freaking fan-made versions of like the remastered versions of those games, you know, is not a bad idea. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, you know, those freaking like Sonic, like Sonic 3, Angel Island Revisited, and of course Sonic 3 Complete aren't banger stuff. They are. It's just. You know, I'm just happy that we have another way to play this classic game. And exactly. It, and the whole and funny thing and funny enough, the people that are complaining were probably hyped. We were probably hyped until they saw, oh well, crap. If I want everything, I need to pay extra five bucks, or else I'm screwed. And the, and like I said in the podcast, you know, like. If Sega just charged like a buck, two bucks, three bucks, even four bucks, or even like a cent more, I feel like people would still complain. Oh yeah, you know they would. You know, because what do people do on the internet? They complain. That's a lot. You know, and like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and say that you know those people's feelings aren't invalid. Is it a stupid, you know, pre-order thing? Yes, I will agree with you, but. I guess because I, I, I've gotten so sick of negativity in, in this world, I prefer focus on positive things. I'm sorry, but I'm hyped for this. I'm pre-ordering this right away, so you guys can do what you want. I'm going to be enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> but getting back to this game, right now I'm trying to unlock Tails because I see the Tails in the car. Oh, um... Is there anything else we can talk about this? Oh, see here. Well, apparently, I didn't know what you just said there. There's mission cards to unlock the character. <laughs> yeah, I think Tails is, is unlockable. And, and he, yeah, if I can get up there, I 
wish I could use a control for this, but... Fine, I know how you feel on that. But, uh... You know, like I said, like, I'm not... I don't want to just invalidate people's opinions and all that. Because people have the right to buy what they want, to support what they want. You know, it's just my opinion is that I wish you guys would wait and see. And who knows, Sega might actually do something about this and they might be like, you know what, you're right. You know? It happened before. You okay? I almost got up to where the Tails mission card thingy is. Um, in terms of this game, though, like, if you don't like Roblox, but you like Sonic, I say at least not. Hey, okay, baby. If you stop for a minute there, I can show you how I got up there. Okay. Okay. Come back to where, where it's at. Come here. Okay. Jump up here. Yeah, you have to be really you know, agile. Jump. What's up with that whole thing, that rule to where, like, you can be good at games, but once you start recording, it's like... I don't know, but, yeah, jump over then. There you go. Yes, tails unlocked. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's how I got up there. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we can talk about with this game, or are we good? I think we're good but about you, it right now, because we haven't really got far into yeah, it. Yeah, not too much, but first impressions, it's fun. Again, I don't plan on getting too deep in this whole Roblox, Roblox, however you say Steam. it. Roblox scene. Yeah, Roblox, you know, culture and all that. Unless it's for Sonic related things. Cause, you know, I am a Sonic tuber. And I know people might be shocked I embrace that. But I embrace that. Well, you know what? I love Sonic the Hedgehog. And, you know, why yeah. would I embrace it? You know? Exactly. I mean, there are times that it does get annoying that I can't do a lot, a lot of what I want on the channel. But you know what? It makes up for it. I'm Heck not. yeah. But yeah, I think that's it for this review. Uh, overall, I have to give this on a scoring system about maybe a solid three out of five. Um, the reason for that three is because, like I said, you know, this is basically a fan game that's being sponsored by Sega. And they, this is true. You know, it's a pretty simple system. Um, it's not been too complex, it's very easy, and it really, actually, it reminds me of, of like a more scaled down Sonic Utopia. Which, yes. Which isn't a bad thing, because Sonic Utopia... I've seen some gameplay, yeah, I've seen some gameplay of Sonic Utopia. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this on Tuesday. And as always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Later, guys. Bye, guys.